This is the plaintiff, Andre Campbell. He says he and the defendant dated for about eight years and know each other for close to 20. He thought he'd be a nice guy and help her out by putting a car in his name for her. That was obviously a big mistake because here they are at the People's Court. The woman got 15 parking tickets, didn't pay any of them, and when he told her he wanted to take the car back, she said she donated it. Some people... He's suing for $2,365.48, every penny of what he's owed. This is the defendant, Lisa Sumlin. She says the plaintiff borrowed the car to take his kid to college, and during the trip, he got into a wreck. The car was damaged, and he told her, deduct the cost of the tickets for the damage he caused. So that's what she did. Bottom line, she's out of car now. And if anyone here today is owed money, it's certainly not the plaintiff. She's accused of taking advantage of an ex. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,850 for repairs and miscellaneous costs. All parties, please at your radiance. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, these litigants dated for years, and the plaintiff put the defendant's car in his name. She racked up a bunch of tickets and ended up giving the car away. But the defendant says the plaintiff borrowed the car and wrecked it, so they're even. It's the case of your ticket to court. Thank you, Douglas. Andre Campbell? Yes. You are suing your former girlfriend, Lisa, and friend of 20 years, Lisa Sumlin? Yes. yes. Okay, for $2,365.48 in parking tickets, plus $100 in registration that she's supposed to pay you back and hasn't. You have a counterclaim against him for $1,850 for an engine plus the cost of the van. All right, let's start with you. What's going on? How you doing? My name is Andre Campbell. Um, Lisa had came to me. How did you two meet? Um, we used to date back in the days, uh, like the early 2000s, and okay. Lisa and I became close friends from there on in. So now that we, you know, have a child together, that oh, we raised... Oh, you do have a child together? Yes, we raised a child, Shannon, over there together. Is that the child that's both of your... Ch okay, go on. So ever since um, she had came and asked me, is it okay for me to pick, you know, her van into my name, and I told her, sure, I would now, do that. Now, this is a van that you bought with your money? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And why did you want to put it in his name? Um, because insurance in my name is very high. I had just gotten why? my license. It was why? so high. Oh, because and you're a bigger risk. If you're actually uh, the person the insurance company's insuring, they'd like to know that. That's why they charge more. Oh, so it's okay. called insurance fraud when you put it in... So oh, who knew? When you put it in someone else's name so you can pay less. All right. So um, now she bought it, though. You didn't actually make... Uh, you didn't pay for the car? No. I okay. Have to. So she puts it in your name, and then what happens? She ends. Um, after that, she has um, ran up a ticket for her first ticket. It came in uh, March 2017. What and was it for? It was for a fire hydrant. She, par she parked by, by a fire hydrant? By a fire where? hydrant. In up front of where she lives? Yeah, up front of where she okay. lives. Okay. Why were you doing that? Well, actually, I wasn't doing that. The ticket people in my area, I think they're a bunch they're a of liars. erratic with it. They're liars. So they were like overdoing the tickets with the. What does that mean? You can't get like, the tickets. I tic wasn't. I, I think you're supposed to be like three boxes away from the fire hydrant. Maybe I'm, I'm guessing the three boxes on the floor. So that's what I use, and, and to them maybe it's too close, or they give you a ticket anyway. So that was a description. Okay, with the so tickets. that's the first ticket, and the second ticket. The second ticket came around April. Of 2017 for the, next the same month. thing. Same thing? Same thing for oh, fire hydrant. I think you need to clarify with them how far away you're supposed to be. Yeah. Or you need to walk a little bit. Yeah. It's supposed to Absolutely be 10 right. spaces yeah. from okay. the fire hydrant. Uh, how many tickets six. do we have here? Um, 15. Because it's going to take a while to get to 2,265. <laughs> so you keep getting tickets. Right. They're in his name. Right. And you're paying them? No, actually, when the ticket... Are you fighting them? Are you setting them for trial? Are you doing See, I'm anything? I'm not even sure. How to, I'm, not, I'm new at the ticket thing. I'm not sure what to do with the tickets as far as that. So, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 38. How old are you? 38. You're 38. Mm -hmm. So you don't know what to do with a parking ticket? As far as taking pictures, no. I'm not familiar it's, with nobody that Nobody said anything about taking pictures. I said, did you pay them? No, I didn't. 
Do you know what that means when you don't pay yes, them? Yes, ma'am. What happens? They become double, right? I, I think, yeah, they become yeah, double. Yeah, it's right on the ticket. So, And they're in someone else's name, so you really don't care. That's not true. Well, it seems like it because that's exactly what you your behavior was. You didn't pay them. Was she telling you she was paying them? No, she sent me a couple of text messages saying that she was going to pay them. She said she was just waiting for some financial situation to come about. So I said, okay. Yeah, but in the I, meantime, they become double. Exactly, throughout the time. So I was just, like, trying to at least give her some time to make sure she get her, her paperwork right and whatever fundings that she was going to get. Folks, and we're not just, talking about $200 in tickets. Mm -hmm. We're talking about, what kind of car is this? Uh, Ford Windstar. Of what year? Uh, 2001, I believe. I'm not sure that it's worth the price of the parking tickets. I don't know what the blue book value is, but why would you let it get this bad? Why don't you just park legally and walk a little farther? Uh, um, where I live at, there is no parking, and the way you, well, there's a parking lot there, but it's very expensive. So if I'm coming home at a certain time. Well, this time, is very expensive. Is it more expensive than 2265 48 or you didn't care because it wasn't in your name? No, that's not true. It starts to look that way. When does it? When do you think that it is legitimate to conclude that? Are what you number? My side of the story, or yeah. Well, I'm asking you first. When do you think it's legitimate to conclude that you just don't care because it's in someone else's name? When it's at 100? When it's at 200? When it's at 500? When? Because well, when we're at 2,265 right. 48. When we get to my side of the story, it I, no. First answer: What I just asked you. When do I start what? Right. Because you're thinking about what you want to say. And my question forever. is cross-examining you, and it's uncomfortable. When, in your world, does it start to look like you just don't care because they're not in your we name? We were communicating with the tickets. That's why I said, if you want to hear my side of the story, it's cool. We were already communicating about the tickets. Who's That's not we? the problem, me and him. Me and the defendant were already communicating about the tickets. What does communicating mean? Which means we're texting back and forth. He was calling yeah, me, I was calling Yeah, you're promising you're going to pay them, and then you don't. How is that you taking care of it? They're not on my tickets. What? They're not all my tickets. Who are? Who's His are? two. They're His not all two. just my tickets. Okay, tell me about that. All right, well, the issue with the tickets, as far as that goes, he borrowed the car. All I asked him was, being that you messed up the car, can you no, take... No, we'll get to the mess up oh, in a moment. Oh, okay. I know you have some testimony, you oh, have a counterclaim or whatever, but first, let's talk about the tickets. That's what what the, tickets are yours and what tickets are his? Um, I guess some of the 500 tickets are mine. The inspection sticker tickets will be on him. Why would I it guess, be on him? Because I couldn't get the new inspection because he messed up the engine. They don't do new inspections with the engine like blinking, I was told. That I didn't know. I found that out when I got this car. Let me see the list of the tickets. What day did you loan him the car? I believe it was in May. She went with him on a trip. How old is she? She's nine. Does she want to testify? Yes, yeah, she came as my witness. Come on up, honey. Right there, yeah. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Shannon. How old are you, Shannon? Nine. Do you know the difference between telling a lie and telling the truth? Mm-hmm. Okay, you gonna tell me the truth? All right, what do you know? I know that when, when he was driving, he passed the tolls, and he said he left his wallet in another state. Okay, I need you to slow down. Uh, you were driving with him. She went with him to drop off his kid at college? Yeah, to okay. in another state. Okay, go on. And when we were driving, um, the, like, the engine started smoking, so he looked it up on YouTube, like, when your engine's smoking, like, why? And, like, when it stopped smoking, we started driving, but, like, the tire popped off. So he got the um, spare tire out of the car and put it under there, but when we were driving more, the, that tire popped. And then he got the tire that popped when we was on a road out the back trunk and put that back on. Okay. Now, where was the sun being dropped off? What state? Um, I think it was, I believe it was down south somewhere. Where were you taking North your... Carolina, I was taking my son to Clark University. To where, in Atlanta? Yes. Okay. Uh, and you were driving from where to Atlanta? The Bronx from to the, Atlanta? From the Bronx to Atlanta. When did, was the car smoking? On the way down or on the way back? The car started smoking like when he almost tried to drive it because we was like leaving a gas station from getting a snack. And we tried right, to but was that after your brother was already in college or was your brother still in the car? He was still in the car. We didn't get there yet. Okay. Do you know how far you were from New York when that happened? Maybe like a far. <laughs> so would you ever put, put a car in your boyfriend or girlfriend's name? Absolutely not. Because? Because if something goes wrong, I don't want to have to deal with the aftermath of that. And what could go wrong? Anything could go wrong. <laughs> like, give me some examples. I can tell you. <laughs> they could probably... Uh, if you get in an argument with your girlfriend and you out driving because she wants you to come home, 
she might can call the cops and say it's stolen. Not where I was, not what I was thinking, but interesting. What do you say? Sure, I'd do it. You would, you would do it? I would do it, absolutely. I will come back and tell you all the reasons why you shouldn't, okay? Going inside the courtroom. Okay, what was going on with the car? There was nothing going on in the car. Um, I don't want to say that my child is lying, but she has a story that, you know, probably her mother manipulated her to say. But it was nothing wrong with the engine at all because I drove me and my son all the way to down south and back without the engine. Was it ever smoking? Never smoking. Okay, so what happens? When did you bring the car back? I brought the car back. Everything was fine. We came back that morning. What is that morning? What date? Um, More sometime or less. in April. April, April? 24th, something like that. April 24th? Yeah. Okay. What, so, what were you you're bringing your son back? No, sp- because we never made it all the way there because of the tires. I had to keep coming out my pockets to pay for the tires to get fixed. So what happened with the car? The car, I got it back to her in, in, in good condition. You didn't make it all the way down to where? All the way down to um, North Carolina because the, Wait, I ain't have enough money. To how keep. far down did you get? You were some, heading to Atlanta, right? I was heading to Atlanta. I got some stu- somewhere stuck in North Carolina. And then, well, what did you do? You, went I, all, you got all the way down to North Carolina. Instead of going I, to Atlanta, you went back I to New York. I had to come back up because I ain't had no money. So what, what happened had, with your son? He just made it his own way from no, wherever you stopped in North Carolina? No, to no. Him. He called and told him that, you know, he had come down there because we were just going down there to check out the college. Just ah. to make sure, like, you know, the college, you know, show your dorm so room and stuff did, like that. So you just canceled and, the trip? Yeah, so we canceled the trip, and I had to call my ex-wife to tell her to send me some money in North Carolina so we could get two new tires. Okay, how is it that you are able to call your ex-wife for money, and your ex-wife is able to call you for favors? Everybody gets along with him really well. Mm, like, he's, he's a nice cool. guy. He's very good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so go on. So you so get I, back there, and do you tell her, hey, tires popping left and right? And yes, I Do you tell sh- her that it was smoking? I showed her the video of the tires and everything. Did it you tell nothing. her it was smoking? It wasn't no smoking. It's okay. just that the tires popped. So do you take the car to, uh, when he brings the car back, do you take it to a mechanic? Well, he took a kind of while to bring the car back. When I had to call him a million times, I said, where are you? I didn't even know he was back. Oh, I'm in my house. I'm cleaning the, the car out for you. I said, oh, okay, but you, I had things to do. You're supposed to have been back. And then I called him again. I said, well, what are you doing? He said, I'm coming right now, I'm coming right now. So he finally came, he didn't have her. So I'm like, where's my daughter? He's like, well, she wants to stay with me. And he parked the car and then he left. So I said, okay. So I waited for my cousin to come. We leave, now something's wrong with the car. Now it's not riding the same as when I gave it to him. How is it different? It's like slow. And then it'll speed up, mm, then it'll slow again. Then it'll speed up. I said, Andre, something's wrong with the engine. He kept telling me you gave me the car like that. So I said, no, the, the older guy. Okay, but what did he do other than drive? He used the car for its he, intended my purpose daughter, to drive. What, did he do something to it? Oh, I, I wasn't there. I just know when he left. Right, but the, it's your counterclaim. Yeah. Ca- you want him not just to pay you six fifty for an engine, but also to pay you for the cost of the van. Where's the van now? Well, I had to junk the van because I couldn't pay for the engine to get fixed. From what the mechanic said, he blew out the the left back coil of the engine and they had to take out. Do you have anything from the mechanics saying what was wrong with it that would indicate that what was wrong with it was his fault? Well, actually, this lawsuit just happened so I didn't get a chance to get any paperwork because I never knew that he was going to file a lawsuit. I just found out about this last month. So I didn't have anything. Yeah, but only thing I had. Just like you've had a couple years to pay those tickets. No, but after, once I junked it, that's the only paper I had recent of the car was the junk. So you have no proof that he ruined the car? I have no proof of anything except for when he took her. No, I understand that that she says that, but that could be the fault of the car, and you almost killed him. Or because you didn't maintain the car, or it could be his fault because he did something that no, I, made I those just, things happen. Oh, maybe. I just got the car. It was used. I was advised that he let his young son drive it while they were down south. He's only like 17, 18, so then I'm concerned. Okay, did he no do more. something to the car? I don't know. Right, exactly. Yeah. And you have to know in order right. to win your counterclaim. So on your counterclaim, zero, because you have zero evidence that they did something wrong to the car. Um, right. What The evidence you have is that Something was wrong it. with a 17-year-old it car. Wasn't nothing I mean, wrong. your car's almost all old enough to vote. Stuff goes wrong. <laughs> okay. Based on what I have heard, I am going to rule in favor of the plaintiff. I realize that it may take you some time to pay it, but that's the struggle. And um, I strongly suggest that if you can't afford a parking ticket, you not park it illegally. And people should not let a $60 problem become a $170 problem when they can't afford it to become one. $2,365.48, verdict for the plaintiff. 
So the plaintiff is going to get the money to pay for those parking tickets. Ms. Sumlin's just come out of the courtroom with your daughter. Yeah. Together. You know, I, I, I know you know you got zero on your oh, countersuit. Cool. The judge explained why. What is this doing to your relationship with, I mean, I assume you two chat a lot, talk a lot. No, You're still, don't. you we know. don't have one anymore, but that's okay. You have no relationship no, with each other? It's, it's okay. It's over, but it's cool. you, you still share the responsibility of raising a child. No, I raise her. You do? Yes. And he's not involved? In no. Okay. Well, I'm sorry about that. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. sign a few documents outside. Mr. Campbell, she says it's over between the two of you. Is that right? Yes, sir, it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have anything to do with her anymore? You don't see no, your child? No, I just try to, you know, my best to, you know, stop by, give her my love, you know, show her a little gift here and there. But if her mother said that she don't want me, I, I'm all right. My daughter's still going to love me. Okay. Well, you're going to get the money back to pay the parking tickets. Are yes. you going to do that? Yes, yes, I will Because do if you that. don't, you won't be able to get another oh, I need, car. I need yeah. mines. I need mines. I, do, I sure do. I do need mines. Okay. So you'll pay the tickets. Yes. Good enough. Congratulations. All right. Kind of a sad situation, Harvey, but uh, he is going to pay the tickets. That's good. Okay, Doug. So, sir, listen up. Um, number one, you put a car in your name, give it to somebody else. Um, tickets, you're responsible for. Impound, you're responsible for. More importantly, if they get in an accident that causes property damage, injury, or death, you're going to get sued. And if you let them do it, you're going to be responsible. Enough said? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs>